Hey new app builders, I'm Kevin, Senior Product Analyst at Tamagi's headquarters in Boston. We're kicking off a new series of videos to help you learn ComCare quickly. This first video will only take a few minutes, and you should stick around for two reasons. First, we're going to cover some of the most important pieces to begin the application building process. And second, to make sure that you learn something new in all of our onboarding videos, we'll share a fun fact about Damagi at the end. Here's a look at what we'll cover in this video. We'll introduce the ComCare platform where the app building magic happens. We'll explain how to set up your project space, which is where your app will live. And finally, we'll introduce case lists and forms. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with something easy, logging into our ComCare account. Go to www.comcarehq.org and sign into your account if you have one. If not, you can create an account for free. Once you've logged in, you're in the ComCare app building platform. This is our secure web portal that includes everything associated with your ComCare project, including your applications, data, reports, and users. As a next step, we need to create our ComCare project. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to create a project for a health NGO that supports and collects data from community health workers. If this doesn't apply to you, don't worry. What we will learn in this tutorial is applicable to our partners in other sectors as well. You can always go to the ComCare App Exchange for examples of these other apps. Now, it's time to build our application. To begin, click Application from the top menu on ComCare HQ. Now, we need to name our app. Community health workers will be using this app to collect data in their village and report it back to our health NGO. This might include information on pregnancies, newborn health, vaccine distribution, nutrition, or all of these things. We'll name our app Village Health. At this point, we need to decide how we want to organize our app. Specifically in this tutorial, we will start by tracking women's health during pregnancy. There are two kinds of menus that you can select to begin your application. Surveys are good for one-time data collection, while case lists are intended for projects that need to track data over time. These menus are like a folder inside your app in which we store a set of forms related to a topic area. For example, the application we are building will track multiple health indicators in a village. Because we would like to track information over time, we will begin by selecting a case list for our application. When we select a case list, a registration and a follow-up form are automatically created. We can edit these names, but because we are registering and following up with women throughout their pregnancies, we'll keep it simple and use these names. Like a traditional paper-based system, in ComCare, if we want to complete a task, we'll need to do so using the forms that we have created. Each of these forms will contain a series of question prompts that a user must answer sequentially on the phone. This is the core content of ComCare applications. When users submit data, they submit completed forms. Okay, we're already in the ComCare form builder where we can add questions to the register form. We can save this for our next video. Well, congratulations. You just learned how to set up your first mobile application project. Before I let you go, let's take a look at what we did. We entered ComCare as a web user. We created a project space for our health NGO and an application to help our community health workers track the health of their village. Then, to enable our health workers to start registering pregnant women in their village, we created a case list. Finally, we entered the register form so we can begin adding questions to our application. Remember, we will eventually have several forms in this case list to collect more information over time. We might even have several different case lists pertaining to different aspects of the village's health. Okay, how are you feeling? I know that was a lot of information, so if you need a break, here's a Dubai fact you probably didn't already know. This is Bailey, our office mascot. She's nine years old and was rescued a few years ago by our founder and CEO, John Jackson. Her favorite activities include sitting on the office furniture and networking with all the guests who come to the Dubai office. Well, that's all we have for you in this video. Once you're ready to add questions to your form, check out our next video.